welcome to this special discussion from Bengaluru. Now, Bengaluru is the kind of city where you don't talk about how far a place is when you want to go there. You talk about how much time it takes to reach. I can sometimes take up to two hours to reach home. Traffic is, of course, a massive, massive challenge, a problem in the city. But an 1800 crore mega project that was designed to ease traffic has been scrapped. And there's celebration in many quarters on that account. So what is going on? To discuss this, we have a great panel. We have the Urban Development Secretary. We've got politicians from three parties. We have members of citizens groups and young students from the city. To find out exactly what is happening with that project, what happens next, and how Bengaluru's traffic can actually be tackled. Urban Development Secretary, Mr. Mahindra Jain, I'm coming to you first. This was a huge project and obviously not taken as a casual decision. Let's just have a bridge like this. What has your response been to its being scrapped? Uh, well, why the project was taken up, I think we should understand that. You yourself said that in Bangalore it could take a long time to cover short distances. Like the project, this project was between Basveshwar Circle and Hebbar. It's a distance of about six, six and a half kilometers, but during peak hours it could take up to an hour mm -hmm. or 40, 45 minutes, whereas it should not take more than 10 minutes, okay. which is how the project was conceived, not mm -hmm. now long back. Yes. But in deference to the uh, view of a lot of uh, citizens yes. and uh, uh, NGOs and so on, the government has now decided to uh, uh, not to proceed with it further. And now we'll look at other options. I want to take up that point you mentioned about it being a response to the acts of like the protests. There were protests, there were human chains, there were tree hugging, there was a lot of protest on the ground. You said that it was in response to the citizens' in protest, in them. deference to what <laughs> they wanted. There is another point of view as well. Rizwan Ashad, youth president of the Youth Congress here. Many people think it was because the Congress found itself in a very, very embarrassing position with allegations being made about kickbacks, about payoffs, about corruption sounding this project. Wasn't that really the deciding factor? Yeah, maybe. Uh, uh, see, what I see is we have seen an experience that the city grows vigorously towards the direction where the airport is located. There is massive development happening in yeah. North Bangalore because the airport is located 40 kilometers from the Bangalore city from the north mm -hmm. side northern side and there are like uh, huge commercial projects residential mm -hmm. projects there are already residential areas which were there industrial area which mm -hmm. was there add up to that bangalore airport is the third busiest airport in in, in the country okay. so there is huge influx of people coming and going and so why was I it scrapped mean, then obviously I mean, the congress yes. government was for this why yes. why, why did you, why was it decided yes. to scrap it there are two three things in this two three elements one uh, mm -hmm. people first question hmm. that there should be no flyover few uh, group is there that they said there should be no flyover whatsoever okay. so we should have uh, we should make people more mature to you know have find out different ways they have okay. their own and we respect their sentiments and the other says there should be no steel it should be a concrete flyover and third said that you have taken money into it and there was a personal integration i mean integrity was also questioned hmm. we were definitely pain and we have no vested interest in this project if we really have any vested interest, or we have, have mm. yes. uh, I mean, the kind of allegations mm. which were being made, if they, are, if they are true, we won't have scrapped this, you know? No, no, no vested interest. Tejasvi Surya, General Secretary of the Youth Wing of the BJP. No vested interest. There's pain on the Congress's part as they cancelled it. Do you perceive it as being because of embarrassment or mm. was it really the people's voice? Well, Maya, it's very hard to uh, believe what Mr. Uh, Rizwan is telling because if you look at the timeline of the project, since the time this idea was, uh, uh, you know, conceptualized and it was thrown about uh, to debate in public, mm -hmm. there has been a huge public outcry against the project. Mm -hmm. And the Congress party, as well as its government in the state here, has been consistent in its stand that come what may we are going to go ahead and build this project so that is that was the stand even before the ngt where for uh, where the ngt after considering the eco, uh, eco environmental repercussions of this project 
you know, gave an interim stay for almost four weeks. Yes. So even before the NGT, their stand was that we will go ahead with the, uh, you know, project come what may. So environment and, was and not on their minds. Not mm -hmm. environment, not public outcry, not the sentiment of the public that they now claim to champion. And even at the time when people were trying to, you know, the real citizens yeah. group were coming on the streets and protesting against this project, there were Congress party hooligans who came out on the street holding placards saying that, you know, no, we, we are for the pri uh, flyover. The May I just want to say one thing here? No, 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 you can't insult the people no, who are no. pro-steel flyer. No, no. I'm a steel flyer, no, no, pro-steel flyer guy, all, no, no. here very openly. But I'm not the, a hooligan. But, but the, I should also remind you, no. Tejasvi Surya, it was your government, BJP government, which conceptualized this steel flyover issue. No, we no, didn't conceptualize, this, this, this you initiated it, Rizwan, you're you created, not at all, not at all. Everybody knows to 2010, the first the, time the idea it was the of the BJP steel government which came just two years it. ago, yes, and it was again in Polish. It. it was we revived it again up. by the cabinet, we took it and up we all now know, especially in the wake of the revelations I mean, I mean, of the diary of Mr. Govind Raju, who happens like to be the political secretary of the chief minister, like that kickbacks. I mean, it is up to fact. almost hundred crores are given to Congress politicians. Why? I just want to say one sentence now. You know, my if you look at the state of the, you know, if you look at the state of the Congress party. Across the, across the country, Hello. there's one thing that you will get to now, learn. Now, 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 again, we're this, talking this about... We're talking about anywhere. This is not a political problem. This is Narayana Simon of the is, citizens... No, no, group. let me answer the... No, no, it, 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 it cannot descend to a political argument saying you have a diary, they have a diary. This is not a diary exchange problem. Question let me be... No, 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 hold on. This is, a pro, this is a project which is not part of any master plan. It is not part of any... I, I don't care whether the BJP thought of it or the Congress thought of it. The Congress continuing with the BJP project is insult to injury. Please understand. You, the conceptual logic of BJP, no, the conceptual logic of coming up with it itself was wrong. Okay, and it was definitely created by a party. Please don't deny that. It is insult to injury that they continued doing it. Please understand Bangalore has a mobility problem. It does not have a flyover. A flyover does not relieve congestion. It just moves congestion from one point to another, right? And building giant, uh, there are, somebody said, one famous mayor of a South American city said, there are two ways to destroy a city. One, put a nuclear bomb on it. Second, build elevated flyover <laughs> roads on it. You know, please. I, I just I'm, want to get a feeling here I from mean, citizens I mean, activists. Respond to, uh, to Naresh. <laughs> I, I just want to, no, like, no, Naresh can criticize this, but they will not give any solutions to them. Do you really feel, the people who protested against the project, yeah. do you feel that it was your voice, it was your concern, it was your protest? Do you think that is why it was bad? Absolutely. Bad? It was a multi-pronged challenge that mm. the government faced, faced at it. Mm. They had no arguments for the steel flyover. Mm. I'll tell you, we have an RTA that's spreading from July uh, of last mm. year. And on your show, Maya, which you did at National Military Memorial, Mahendra Jain, uh, Honorable uh, Urban Development Secretary said, no, no, we'll give you the RTI reply. I have not received till now. They have no documents to mm. prove the feasibility studies done to justify why the flyover exists, the bid analysis done of why one is mm. better than the other, and there is absolutely no shed of it. As, uh, as, I, so, sir, I don't have to meet this you. is Shrida, Shrida Pabishetti of Nama Bengaluru Foundation. This project has been in public domain for a long time. It featured even in the budget announcement that sir, the Chief Minister line, made sir, in 1415. It has been discussed at various fora, right, from the Bangalore Vision Group and various yeah, other fora. Okay. The Sultan of the Environment Support Group, they're talking about we, we've debated about the bridge, and the bridge is now cancelled. It's history. It's not going to happen. Are you proud of what the people did, or do you really think it was just I, because I'm of the... I'm supremely proud about the effort citizens have done. Don't, don't you know, the names... Don't yeah, yeah. the citizens, please. May I complete? If you want me to complete, I will complete. Please let me complete, because Mr. Jain has raised a very critical point, and he said the Vision Group promoted the project. Now, whether BJP... Now, let me hear me out, Mr. Jain. Whether BJP fronted it and Congress backed it is not my problem. But there are these extra constitutional bodies that the government has been created from 1999 when S.M. Krishna was chief minister. It started with Abide, uh, BATF, then it went to Abide, and now it's a club of rich and famous. You have to be a billionaire to be part of that club. And then you come up with projects which only you can fly from Vidhan Sauda all the way to the airport. What about the rest of us? And this is not a project about Bangalore. This is a project about Karnataka. Every citizen in Karnataka who pays taxes, pays for this project, nobody benefits. Only those who get a seven Minute the, headway, the project those is over. Seven minute headway to the flyover, <laughs> and you know, Mr. Mahindra Jain, Mr. Mahindra Jain, you honestly tell us why was the RTI Act, which the Congress enacted in the centre, why was the RTI Act 
kept aside. Why did you not have the guts as Principal Secretary Environment to hold the BDA accountable who is under you and say, release the documents?